West Side. <laughs> That's the sounds like uh, I'd like to find out about uh, West Side Barbell. He's like, this is Louie. So I uh, talking about West Side Barbell, you mentioned Louis Simmons. How did you end up at West Side? You, you moved fully to Ohio, dedicated yourself to powerlifting and lived near the gym? Absolutely. Uh, you know, sometimes that those are. I'm glad you brought that up. Those are things that you have to do, you know, in your pursuit to try to be the best at anything that you want to try to do. I know that you uh, embarked on some arm wrestling and you were learning from Scott Mendelson and probably rubbing elbows with uh, the best of the best. And that's. To me, that's always what everything's always been about. When I was a kid and I um, wanted to learn how to box, I went to Kevin Rooney. Kevin Rooney was Mike Tyson's trainer. I went, I drove to the Catskills. It was like two hours away from where I grew up. Uh, I'd go there every weekend and I'd learn how to box from Kevin Rooney and from some of the people that he had at his gym. Uh, same thing with when I wanted to power lift. It's like, let me get around, let me get around the best. When I did my bodybuilding show, uh, Hani Rambad was my coach. It's like, why... Why F around? Why mess around? Why not go right straight to the, to the source? So for me, as I was getting better at powerlifting, uh, I actually made like a, <laughs> actually, it's kind of funny to think about it now, but I made a hit list of all the people that I wanted to beat. And m mainly it was just like local. And I, I was, I was nobody in powerlifting yet. Um, but I, even some of my best friends were on this hit list of me trying to surpass them in powerlifting. <laughs> And as I started to kind of pick off some of my friends, I was like, you know what? Uh, I, I'm not that established. I don't really like I'm not anywhere near the top level guys, but I'm able to beat some people locally. I'm like, I got to really I got to really submerge myself in this. So I, I moved to Columbus, Ohio, trained with Louis Simmons. Um, Louis mentored me for a year. And I also learned a lot of great stuff from uh, Dave Tate as well. Those both those guys were huge uh, motivators and um, determining factors in pretty much all the success that you see today. Because I just learned so much from them. You know, sometimes um, some young listeners to my channel, like uh, teeny late teeny eight, 18, 19 year old people, who are going to college, will sometimes question like, "What's the value of going to an elite university?" And so, and my answer to that sometimes is this. You can go to any university, the, the tools are all there on the internet and the, the books are all available. The issue is that when you're around people that are the best at what they do, like for example, I went to Carnegie Mellon, they weren't the best at business, they were ranked fifth or whatever, but they were the best at computer science. So I sometimes hung around with these computer science kids and it's just a contagious thing. When you find someone so passionate, so dedicated, it pushes you on and it's different being in that kind of environment than trying to motivate yourself from within. And also sometimes there are things we learn from others that is, that is sort of, they're contagious things and we learn them by imitation and we don't realize the value of them until, you know, much later. Don't, don't you agree? Oh, a hundred percent. And also, yeah. you know, I, I learned a lot of uh, stuff outside the gym from Louis Simmons. The stuff I learned inside the gym, I mean, uh, probably could have learned a lot of that stuff via a video or some of his books and things like that, um, or just a quick visit to Westside. But where I really got the mentorship was seeing how he was outside of the gym. And he's like one of the most... Um, He's like one of the nicest people I've ever met. Like he buys, he, he'll buy you breakfast. He won't let you pay for breakfast, but he, you know, you, you're going to breakfast with him every single day. Um, he'll pay for like, you know, lunch or whatever. He's hanging out with all these uh, lifters all the time. He recognizes they probably don't have much money. So he's just, he just wants people to be strong. His gym is free. It's no coincidence that my gym is free as well. Um, those those are big reasons why I've kind of chose to do a lot of the stuff that I do. Gives away tons of free information all day long. No, you know, same reason why I've been giving away tons of information for free uh, for so long. I actually remember a particular day where I was going to go with him to the Cleveland Browns, and the Cleveland Browns bought a bunch of reverse hypers from him. You know, Louis invented the reverse hyper machine. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he, it was, it was a business call basically, uh, or I'm sorry, a business meeting. And, uh, Cleveland's like about two hours away from Columbus and Louis gets a call before we leave at his house. And it's just a call from some guy. He starts talking to the, 
to the guy about how to increase his bench and his deadlift. And he's going on and on and on. I'm looking at the clock. I'm like, oh, shit, I think we're going to be late for this you know, meeting. And uh, Louie talked to this guy forever. And he got off the phone and um, and I said, oh, I think we better get going. I think I think we're going to be late. And then we got in the car and he said, you know why I took that call? And I was like, I was like, I don't know. I think we're I think now we're going to, you know, we might be late. And he's like. He goes, that was the most important thing for that guy in this moment in his life. He's like, and I needed to address it. He's like, so this other thing can wait. He's like, I like to put other people first before, you know, I'm going to, he's like, this is just about making money. He's like, I always know how to make money. So I'm not worried about it. And I was just like, damn, I was like, that's, that's pretty cool. Cause he spent all this time with this guy. And this is just some random person uh, who called him up that he doesn't know at all. That means a lot to me personally, because I, I, I was reading Louis articles when in 2002, when I was trying to get strong, because I was 11 year old. And, uh, you know, Louis is the only reason that I went from a 150 pound uh, deadlift when I was in started. And then before finishing high school, I was deadlifting four plates and more. Oh and it was only just reading his articles in Dubai. Nobody knew about powerlifting the whole city of Dubai. I would just read Louis articles, but I never met anyone that really knew him closely. So it's so wonderful to hear about his ethics and his personality as well. His phone number was at the end of every article and that was his that's home it. phone number. So that's how I got to Westside. Wow. I called it up and I didn't, I was like expecting an assistant to answer or it was going to be some sort of business line or whatever. Mm-hmm. He picks up the phone and goes, Westside. <laughs> that's <laughs> I was like, uh, I'd like to find out about uh, Westside Barbell. He's like, this is Louie. <laughs> <laughs> such a good invitation yeah and i'm like can i come out there and you know like check out the gym he's like sure it's open to everybody it's free come on out wow that's beautiful 